Hey guys, it's Charlie from Twin Tut Tutorials, and today's tutorial is on masking. Masking is extremely useful, so I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. This is me, and I used masking to make my head black and white and the rest of my body normal color. So, open your new project, and then go to Project Media, and import the clips, or you could just import the clips. I usually go to Project Media, find the clips you want, clip you want, and then drag it into your bar, your timeline twice. I always delete my audio tracks because I don't find much use for them. Okay, so with the top one now, what's going to happen is you're going to go into masking. You're going to click mask down there at the bottom. Enable masking. And then you get this grid. Just messing with my settings. Okay, and now we're going to use the anchor creation tool. And just get the general shape of my head. Which is the part I want to black out. This is going to be the original mask. So just the skin I'm doing. And now that part that's selected, everything else got grayed out because it's not going to be actually seen, which is why we have to have a clip under it. Because that clip is sort of like painting over painting, or under a painting. So we scratched away one part of it. There you go. So we're going to go to Video FX. and go to black and white 100 percent black and white and drag that onto your top clip now um, those things are fine so now you see it's just my head that's uh... black and whited out which is exactly what we want okay so now you can hit right click deselect deselect all and then select individual points to get the better contour of the head. Just generally getting it so that it looks pretty good. And I'm going to start fast forwarding here because it's only like five minutes. But this is basically what I'm doing is I'm moving the clip forward in the timeline until it gets to a spot where my head leaves the picture and then I just move the all the little clips or dots um, around until it gets around the head so that the head is constantly within the selected area okay so that looks pretty good head looks like it's out a little bit there mm, yeah it looks about fine I think so now if we play our clip then it looks as though my head is actually black and white pretty cool and of course you can do this with any other color or effect you want I just think black and white is good for example um, gonna go into the channel blend settings also in your video effects just so I can show you and help you get a better idea of what's selected and what's not. So I'm using the background color and putting that as completely blue. So you can pretty much just see my head. You can see my body a little bit there in the background. But I'm really just looking for a better view of the head. You can see that the edges are really sharp and rigid. So we're going to go to the feather type and bump up the feather and now the edges look a lot softer. You might want to move your clips around after doing this. They tend to get a little messed up and wow this looks amazing except we forgot to put them on all the key points the keyframes I mean so we have to go in and gather all the keyframes it's only gonna take a sec
just click on the keyframe to select it. If you select around the keyframe, then it'll make a new keyframe for that specific time. So you might want to watch that. <laughs> and that looks pretty good. Just about done. Okay, so if we play it, looks pretty good. Awesome. Alright guys, well this is Charlie from Twin Tut Tutorials and this has been a Sony Vegas tutorial. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching.